Yo, this is Kieran Aline and you're watching This Is Mehul. What's going on guys? This is Mehul and right now I'm joined by the next sensation of the UK, Kieran Aline. Kieran, how are you doing, man? I'm very well, you thanks yourself? I'm good, man. I'm good. Well, before we kind of get started talking about everything you're doing now, let's go all the way back to the beginning. How did you kind of get started into music? Um, well, it began when I was about eight, really, for me. Uh, my uncle was in a funk band, and he used to take me to all like his gigs and stuff, and I'd, you know, watch him and his his band perform, and he'd perform the old school stuff like you know Michael, Stevie, Prince, and I was like, no, oh, this is amazing. And that, that like made me fall in love with music. And you know, as I got older and I started singing more, he was like, yo, do you want to sing a Stevie Wonder song? It's, it's open. And I was like, okay. So I walked up, sang, sang, so, sang, so delivered. And I was like, I like performing. This is cool. And you know, like as it went on, I just carried on practicing. You know, did a few school talent shows, one here and there. I was like, ooh, I might be all right at this, you know. <laughs> um, got to the age of 30 and I auditioned for Thriller Live, the musical in uh, the West End as a uh, young Michael and out of 60 kids that auditioned that were mainly all stage school kids four of us got the role and I was one of the only ones that hadn't done anything before like at all and uh, you know I actually ended up holding that role for two years until my voice broke and you know, I couldn't sing 11 at 16 it was like ooh okay but you know that's kind of how the journey started really for me Love never felt so good. So good. Right, so it's quite young when you kind of got started into music. I'm going to put you on the spot now because you said you played young Michael. What is your favourite Michael Jackson tune? Ah, oh, my favourite. There'd be two. I have uh, Blood on the Dance Floor. Oh, yeah. Just because every That's time it comes out, I'm just like, Blood on the Dance Floor. It's sick. Or PYT. Oh, okay. Quite a sort of a big mix. Yeah, I, just, I, I love all this up-tempo stuff and even towards his less, slower stuff as well. But when, when I'm just listening to the way that he does beats, I'm just like, oh, no, like, you can't beat Michael. You can't beat Michael. So obviously Michael's probably one of your inspirations then, but who else? Like, who else do you grow up sort of listening to even as you got older? So um, when I was younger, obviously it was the Michael, Stevie, Prince. Um, and then it kind of evolved into Usher and Justin Timberlake. Uh, I'd say Justin was probably the main influence on me because after I watched his Future Sex Love Sound tour uh, DVD where he performed at Madison Square Gardens, I was like, you know what, I want to be able to dance, I want to be able to go on stage and do exactly what he just did, you know, hold a crowd for a whole show from dancing, singing, to playing piano and just doing everything, like, that's, that's what I wanted to do and from that I was like, I'm going to know how to dance, YouTube. <laughs> I learned how to dance I literally just kept going and going and going. So basically, another artist, sort of big in America, Chris Brown, you might have heard of him. He's another artist who's claimingly said that he's been so badly influenced by Michael Jackson. Obviously, he's got a bit of an usher in him with the dance. You're kind of in compared to sort of Chris as sort of the UK version. Is that sort of a lot of pressure for you? Um, yeah, definitely, because, you know, Chris is an international superstar, right? He's smashing it on songs and has been smashing it on songs since he came out. So for me, I think it's a very big comparison to be compared to. Like you, could, you could be compared to worse. Like, so for me, that, that, that's a good thing. But yeah, it does add a lot of pressure on to you know, deliver w with what I'm doing. So wicked. So obviously, you've come quite a long way with your music. The EP, Breaking Good, that done really well. Running low, comfortable, smashed it. It was all over TV, on YouTube. You worked with, I think, what was it, Pagey Cakey and Bonkers on the Comfortable Remix, and those two are kind of blowing up quite big now, especially with Bonkers with on the block. Um, what other collabs sort of have you got lined up? Oh, there's a, a few coming through that I'm going to keep a bit exclusive. Yeah. But one to look out for is me and Jeremiah. Oh, do you know what? I see Jeremiah? He's just collaborating with everyone these days. He's on a bit of a UK hype with Crepton Conan. Well, that's, that's going to be a big move. I'm good, so we're, we're just getting out there, but yeah, I'm going to stay quiet. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about the current single then, Be Around. It's a great track, um, produced by DJ Mustard. How did that link up happen? Like, Well, um, Max Goose, the guy that signed me in America, he's a yeah, ex Def Jam uh, vice president. He was you know he was really good friends with mustard and you know helped him 
and worked with him before. And he kind of did the introduction when we were in LA and also with a writer called Makiba Reddick, who um, has wrote crazy hits for everybody. I think she wrote Sweet Dreams to Beyonce. She's incredible. And then, you know, we got, I got a chance to fly out to LA and I hung out with Mustard in the Staples Center and we went and watched the Lakers game. Like, just as you do. As you do. Just, just casually, yeah. yeah <laughs> casually. Um, so, you know, we were just chilling and got to know each other and got talking. And it wasn't so much that I was in the studio with Mustard, it was more like, oh, we have this song that McKeever had written with Mustard. And it was like, what do you think? And it's more like, I listened to it, I was like, yo, this is incredible. Like, I'd be honored to you know, record this. He's like, cool, I'll get it straight over to you. And from that, his people spoke to my people. I got the record, I cut it back here in London. And that's how it moved, literally. And he approved it. So, so that's, to be fair, that's a big co sign you essentially got from. I'm gonna be probably the biggest producer in hip hop right now. Like when you're listening back to it, like all mustard records, do you kind of see yourself doing that little mustard on a beat, yeah, little catch to your own tune? Yeah. yeah, it's like, oh, my tune does that too, along with all the 40 other R&B hip hop things that are in my playlist yeah. on my iPod. Yeah, but the other ones are like big number ones. Yeah, so I see you in good company. I'm like, man. nice, okay. So it's cool. It's cool. I like it. American, you know I had to cop the foreign American, you know I had to cop the foreign American, you know I had to cop the foreign From another country, I brought it to the city with me I know it's never born So what else kind of did you do away from the music? Just kind of, because obviously music can be quite sort of high pressured at times What did you do away from it? Well, besides dancing, I also do free running um, I act on the side as well um, I play guitar, you know, I go out and play basketball as well, sporting, very sporting, you know, even play the odd football game here and there. I wouldn't say I'm Beckham, but you know, <laughs> I might. Um, yeah, just try and keep myself busy, really. Yes. What football team do you support? Arsenal. <laughs> Arsenal. What do you think of Petr Cech? Uh... Wow, to be fair, I think you must be the first Arsenal fan that I've kind of met now that is a bit sort of like iffy on it. No, I don't know. No, I'm just not gassed. I'm not gassed. Oh my god. But let's get back to the music because this is obviously what we're here for. You're doing so well at the moment. What's there for the future? It's obviously summer's here, lovely weather. Your nice little sprint across London. Um, it's festival Stevens. Can we see you kind of playing anywhere? You know what? I'm working on, you know, doing some, some like a tours and stuff, getting out there, you know, letting people see who I am as an artist and, you know, what I've got to bring. I'm hoping to go to as many festivals as I can, shows as I can, gigs, nightclubs, just getting out there, just being like, here I am, this is what I do. Yeah, what's up, it's Kieran, it's Kieran. Yeah. <laughs> um, what else then, sort of like, essentially, you're doing the festivals, you're doing the tours, music wise, do you have any sort of goals that you want to get put forward to for the next sort of year, where do you want to be? Well, for the next year, I want to be on biggest festivals like obviously that's going to take a lot of push with the single you know hoping that everything goes well you know I want to be on wireless next year that's, that's what I'm aiming for uh, I just want to go as hard as I can but also I'm going to be working towards my album from now you know trying to get all my material kind of locked in and because I we finally figure out what direction I want to go for my album which is which is now locked in so that's that's going to be cool to, you know starting to work towards that even uh, I think we've got a mustard beat coming up for that as well. Ooh. Ooh. Coming out. Yeah. Right it's going to be cool. You're a UK sort of young singer. You've had people sort of in that sort of genre, in the lane that you work in with, sort of people like Angel, The Week. Is there sort of pressure, especially with a UK artist, it's quite difficult to kind of try and break in there, unlike America. Do you have a sort of a plan or... It's very hard for a you know a UK artist to come through an R and B route because it's not it's not as big over here and it's not as commercial. People aren't really like, well, yeah, let me just go buy that R and B album there and just have a little vibe. Unless you're Chris Brown, for sure, like you're out there. People are just kind of, eh, okay, he's an R and B artist. Like for me, I think it's pressure because you because I'm kind of my sound is very West Coast American. People are like you're from the UK, why are you doing music that sounds like you're from America? And it's like, I'm not trying to be anything 
that I'm not. I'm like, I'm making music that I love making. If you love me, come on, get involved. Feel it rushing through you from your head to toe. Well, Kieran, do you know what? I wish you the best of luck with Be Around Everything the Future. Looking forward to that single with Jeremiah coming soon. I know it's going to be a smash. But cheers, man. Thank you very much.